Dining table, here I come. All right, what's this? Dad took these photos. Now that David's staying over so much, I wonder how long it'll take Mom to shove them in a drawer somewhere. Damn. I don't think those were there. Oh, hey. How you doing, girl? It's not that I'm ungrateful. It's just that when your mom works in a diner, you're not always in the mood for diner-type food. I mean, it's breakfast, Chloe. How often does breakfast really change? Go put my purse on the table before you forget. Go put my purse on the table. Fine! Fuck! I'm just trying to have a fucking conversation with you. God. Fuck your purse. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what mom wants before she strokes out. <sighs> Dad's old swear jar. We spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. Pot roast? Mom hates pot roast. Hey, mom. You wanted to talk? Chloe, what happened to you? It's no big deal. <laughs> I walked into a door. I think the mom's seems voice to be different too. Into a lot of doors lately. When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. I was sleeping. I was sleeping. I didn't get your text until just now. Oh, you make it so hard to trust you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? Pot roast. All right. Engagement ring. We'll start Are there. Are you selling your engagement ring? Guilt Chloe, trip her. Jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse then? And what is this about pot roast, Mom? I thought you hated pot roast. You can have a no thank you helping. No, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. And David likes it. And don't say you don't care. So that's what we're doing now? Whatever your boyfriend likes? Let's talk more about your boyfriend. So you've forgotten about Dad and you're selling your ring. You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame, too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you gonna eat? <laughs> I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, oh, huh? Geez. That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? Yo, can I get 20 Between bucks to pay weed, your mom? disregard for my rules, I'm just gonna I get a little. slipping. Well, I need worried. a little more than that. But mom, <laughs> the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe I just need to be left alone. Maybe David could help. No, oh, we could use our new... Well, it's her boyfriend right now, right? They're not married yet. Could use him to my advantage. Or I could give a little snark and be like, leave me alone. <gasps> Maybe David should start paying rent. Oh, he spends okay. the night often enough. God How damn. How would you know? You're never here yourself. Never mind. 
David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Dad was a good man. <laughs> Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. Don't worry, Chloe. You'll, you'll be nice. You'll, you'll join your daddy respectful. soon. And you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such what? Sorry, Chloe. Chloe. Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying. I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Be understanding, say what you feel. I feel so evil. I feel like we're like getting prepared to get the smack. Like, she, well, that was a bad smack. Man, Joyce is just a straight up whap. Chloe. You want me to pretend I'm okay with David? That everything's okay? I'm not. He's a chauvinistic piece of shit, frankly. Chloe, and if your father could hear you. No, you're right. I'm sure Dad and the mustache would get along great. It's a big bed. There's room enough for all three of you. That's enough. All I'm asking for is a little respect. Why is that too much? I love you, Chloe. I miss you. Okay, can Nobody we be nice could now? Have replaced your father. I did the best I could. Mom. I don't know where I lost you. You didn't lose me. <gasps> okay. Right. David's waiting. He'll need the keys. They're in that ashtray you made me. Go be his problem now. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. Oh yeah, really horrible, Chloe. Give Mom a hug after all that. I can't take any more arguing today. Go give David his keys. I was just wanting to see if she would get smacked, but she wouldn't, and now I feel really bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are the keys? <laughs> Put his keys in the fire. Wow. Sean Prescott's son, Nathan, goes to my school. Sounds like the apple didn't fall far from the asshole. Wait, hold up. There's more there. Wow. Why do I suddenly want to get some fireworks? Jeez. This is Principal Ray Wells. Let me be emphatic. I have an enormous stick inserted into my butt. Thank you. Whoa. Also, Chloe, you're poor and in trouble. <laughs> Chloe's slut shaming everyone today. She slut shamed mom, now the principal. So what if he likes things inserted into his anus? Nothing wrong with that. We're already supporting one. Thanks. from when Max and I spilled mom's wine. I think the only reason mom hasn't recarpeted is so she can stay mad at me. Or it's because we can't afford nice things. I think in a way I'm, I'm definitely a lot more mean as Chloe because Chloe is like that. Let's not pretend Chloe isn't like that and wouldn't totally bitch her mother out because that's what Chloe does. I feel it's more realistic not to be super nice. Chloe's not. Mom doesn't want me to know, but it's pretty clear her boy toy, David, hasn't worked in like a year. Any letter from Blackwell is never good. Dad always talked about upgrading to a flat screen. Too bad that never happened. I would have gotten this bad boy in my room. What is this discolored square? Family pic used to hang here. I. Wow. I can't actually remember which one. Oh yeah, I'll open it. I'll open it. Is mom having trouble with payments again? 
My scholarship doesn't cover everything. Like, I need another reason for Principal Wells to get on my case. They have, like, financial aid or something? Shit. Help the poor girl out. Aren't you glad you left for Seattle, Max? <laughs> <sighs> and never looked back? Right. Where are the damn keys? I made that ashtray for Mom's keys oh, only. Go. Where's the ashtray? Oh, there it is. Okay. Is that the ashtray right there? No, wait, yeah, no, that's a bowl. No. God, I hate moving around with a controller. Wait, where's the fucking ashtray? She literally just mentioned it. David can't leave our house without his keys. <laughs> oh, there it is. Better okay. To him. Here they are. Yeah, a lot of little tables. Right. Let's get these to David so he can drive away. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. I better get going. Oh, where's the garage? that Steph hey is this Chloe this is Steph Gingrich hey I have your DVD you can get it before school thanks okay. what a piece of crap the car too Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. Excuse no, me? No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. You snap at me? Chloe, is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I got into my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Electro insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites Did you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. <laughs> Alright. What is this? Damn. Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and How's get How's the ass, away. though? Oh, yeah, bend over, David. Let me get a good peek. Meh. Wait, isn't that a socket wrench right there? You deaf or just lazy? You said you needed your socket wrench. That's the 5 8 inch. I need the 13 16 inch extension, which is in the set, which is in the garage, like I said. Unbelievable. Well, here's your socket wrench. Whatever. God, I was just clicking things, David. I'm trying to look Mom at you. Date literally anyone else. <sighs> All right. What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? Dang, he's moving in. Mine 50 now. 50 chance I smash him in the face with this. 60 40. Maybe 90 10. Tiniest penis in all of Arcadia Bay. Dang. A 
A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. This whole family is messed up. That's very true. They're all just... Yeah. Very sad. See what's up the works there? That's a sign carbon of carbon deposits. Deposit. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. They need therapy, but they can't afford it. It's so sad. <laughs> his fucking, his fucking pants. <laughs> oh man. Oh, do I accept it or do I leave him hanging? Man, I think I've already made things very awkward. <laughs> He's got mom jeans on. <laughs> Hey, why? Fine. Whatever. <laughs> we already made it awkward waiting so long. Except the fisting. Yes, step daddy. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> They can bond over the car. Ready It'll to never happen, though. Roll. Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. Please. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Shut this down. Ignore and endure. Oh, it's too tempting. We gotta do the back talk battle. Respect him? I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. It's the Chloe What's way. Clear is fuck you. Language. You are way out of line, young lady. Language? Stand down, young lady. Military language. Here, let me put that in a language you'll understand. Foxtrot. Uniform. You've got a smart mouth, don't you? Let me dumb it down for you. I mean, sorry. What has fewer syllables than dumb? Hey, watch your... I can crap bigger than you, got it? I actually want to sort of see that. <laughs> You're the crap master. <laughs> what? Thought I smelled crap. You're the crap master. <laughs> Then I hope you're a better plumber than you are a mechanic. <laughs> you... Your mother... You're breaking her heart. <laughs> At least she has a heart. All you have is... What's it called when you've got one porn stash and zero game? I was in the army. You will respect me. Bill of Rights? <laughs> That's uh. enough. Oh. I won't stand for your disrespectful mouth. Shit, sorry. Regard for authority unites us, gives us dignity, and we are better united than divided. Joyce, your mother, she's hurting, Chloe. Hurting for you. Yeah, there's a time I, had it I screwed up. No doubt about it. But all this staying out late, ignoring her command, drinking, drug use. I hate that there's a timer. It's making everything harder for her. You need to shape up, get your act together, and put someone else first for a damn change. Am I making myself clear? Is it crazy if part of what David's saying makes sense to me? Got it. Thanks. We should really get going. Glad we understand each other. Gotta think about what choices I want to make. 
Some of those are good. Some of them are awful. It's hard to choose. Country music. <laughs> Dad loved this song. I just called to tell you that I miss you, my old friend. <gasps> so sad. <laughs> What a beautiful day. This, this isn't right. I know what a spark plug does, jerkwad. Dad, turn it up. Oh no. Oh no. Rip. Shit. <laughs> Damn, that's that's very sad. Hey. The hell? Out of the car, Chloe. You're going to be late. Had a nightmare, okay. Shit. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young lady. I can see you rolling your eyes. Uh, hello? I was actually saying I that... see everything. I'll warn everything. Jeez, I, did she hell. even roll her eyes? Black hell. What? I guess it makes sense. Blackwell. Future needs excellence. Where's Victoria? I want her to talk shit to us. There's no way she'd talk shit to Chloe. She's, she'd only do someone weaker than herself, like Max. Oh, here, that's that Elliot guy. Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. Guess it's true, then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, how about The Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you wanna go together tomorrow? That sounds awful, maybe. Hmm. No way. I'd rather have my eyes gouged out with rusted forks. Yeah, right. Me too, I guess. All right. See you in camp. <laughs> yeah. I kind of wanted sure. to say maybe, though, but Chloe, I just feel like Chloe would choose the other one. Poor guy. It's gonna get friend zoned for Rachel Black Amber. It's not relevant. If you're gonna get mad at me for my choices, class. you can fuck off, okay? Alright, wait. What's this bitch want? Hey, I'm at the picnic tables with Mikey. Alright, on my way. <gasps> Victoria! Oh my god! Shit! I'm in a plant! I'm your biggest fan! Ugh. Victoria Chase. I'd rather vomit razor blades than talk to her. Ah, oh, Carrie Price! <laughs> it's Chloe. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. 
You don't say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about that. What with Rachel Another Amber, new voice. Am I right? Yeah, it's like most of the voice actors are new, it seems like, so far. You hang with the Vortex Club? I mean, I'm technically not a member, but I am being courted. I'm not sure The club I... should be a collection of Blackwell elites, but instead, it's some anti-bullying, hand-holding kumbaya shit. Not when I'm a senior. Wait, what about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. It was a pretty normal night for us. A little music, a little dancing, we murdered a guy. <laughs> you are so funny. Oh, seriously, though, I didn't realize you and Rachel were such BFFs. We're really not. Uh, so, what's she into? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. Excuse you know, me, bitch! Seriously, I don't Bite know why me. you're talking to me about Rachel. Oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God. Called out. I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're... being you. Oh. I'm sorry, Victoria. I didn't mean to be rude. You know, I finished the assignment. Want some help? You? Help me? Of course. That last problem was hard, right? If I'm remembering correctly, the answer was... Fluorine, uranium, carbon, potassium, and, uh... Uranium again. Damn, fucking with her grades. Right. Perfect. Hey! Thanks, Carrie. No problem. Wow. This Victoria doesn't seem as savage. She was trying to low down, get the juicy gossip on Rachel so she could spread it. Dirty little snake. Dirty, dirty little snake. Who are you, guy? With your fucking hat on. Chloe, I'd like to talk to you about wildfire awareness and prevention. I do not give a to fuck. You too, Evan. According to the Department of Forestry, oh, hell over 90% no. of this season's fires were caused by humans. That's a record high <gasps> and completely <gasps> Bye. I gotta run. Wait, one last thing. Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? Do I look, look like someone who fucking cares about fire safety? I really don't care that much. Doing nothing? is just as bad as doing harm. Pretty sure that's not true. Bitch, I will set this fucking school on fire on purpose while everyone is still inside. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. I used to play with my friend Max. It's been a long time. You know though. how spark plug is. Cool. You don't get this game. Got my DVD. Fuck off, everyone. One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? Why do you want to know? <laughs> Steph has a crush. I have a Chloe, fucking crush. Back off, bitch! Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? Do 
I do this or do I not do this? <laughs> Man, this girl's trying to move in on my woman! What the hell? Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> uh... Excuse me? Are you insulting me in some obscure nerd way? <laughs> Think about it. An elf? Like, skinny and kind of weird, but also a barbarian, so, like, really angry. In other words, Chloe Price. Let me wow. smack the glasses off this kid! All right, let's get started. You are both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. Durgaron. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you and greet you. I am Elama, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avernon. It is too- like, how early are we at school for this Introduce shit? Introduce your character. Yeah, okay. Uh, Why did I'm I come to school this fucking early name. to play a fucking uh, tabletop game? Her name is Barb. Barb. No, 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 no. Steph. Hey, give Barb a chance, okay? Her name's fucking Barb! I'm gonna fucking punch this kid! The two heroes- Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscarred. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? I once stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him, too. True story. You stand at a three-way crossing. A pussy-ass little bitch. The raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, the Unscarred. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Where do you wish to go? Leave the game. I am. I kind of want to fucking leave. This kid is like. I don't want to be near him. His shirt says "fucking cool story, bro." God. <sighs> Guess it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field of standing iron cages, each imprisoning a human villager, calling out for you to free them. Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you, and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Ah, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Ah, oh, okay. Hey, shitface! Get out of there! Now, the why don't you go fuck yourself, down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying, probably isn't flattering. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Oh, we're intimidating. Intimidate? That's a skill I have. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. You can try. What I'm do not you reading say? all the choice to Listen you guys up. this You'll time. Go. Takes too long. Lizard. Unfortunately, not fucking with the timer common, anymore. Which means he can't. I cast communication. On the dragonkin. Shit. Really? Now he can understand every word you say. Time to work some real magic. So this is called a skill challenge, where you try to use- Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and it's close. It's go time! He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? Everybody knows that dragons are pussies. That's why they hide in caves and only come out to breathe fire on sheep and eat cows and shit. That was a mistake. 
The dragonkin growls, snapping at you and showing his teeth and claws. Tall one is a fool. Dragons are gods, he says. Damn. Maybe we'll just wait here while you die of old age, dragonkin guy. So hard to read the fucking choices. This tabletop shit is hard. Try playing solo. The dragonkin swallows the key, know. pointing at his stomach Outline. and then his own butt, laughing at you. Then he I shove my axe through the cage, right into his stomach. Then I twist it. Yeah, I know I lost. It. Fuck. Guts and shit start falling everywhere, but I jam my hands inside his open stomach, grabbing the key. Then, in the final You can't even see the choices. Dies, I hold the key up to his face. Fucking clouds made it so I difficult laugh. to read. They don't have a They don't have an outline or shadow like the subtitles Normally, do. Normally, I'd say you failed the challenge, except that was so horrifically amazing. You won. Yeah. Go team. Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. What's next? Oh. I do all of these? How early did we get to school? Loot sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Dear Lord! Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc who immediately shouts at the titties. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. So what do we do? I cast Urgle's Acid Blast. Um, overkill? Bam! Yeah, I'll you probably leave after this one because holy shit. washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Holy shit. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you, swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. Okay, let's end this. Fatal cleave. Go you swing your great axe down class, with both hands. hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. Fuck yeah! I'm awesome at this game. It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely any loot survived. Dang. My character raises her axe. You'll pay for ruining all that loot, Elamon. By my honor, I apologize. Here, take this potion as a gift. Thanks, dude. Ooh, candy. We're friends now. What's next? I forgive him. All right, I'll finish it. That it's one wasn't so bad. Time. You enter the tent to find Durgaron, warlord of the raiders. Oh, damn! The Black well, sitting Big boy. comfortably at his throne, he's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, why don't we just date stuff? Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. She'd be good I at dirty talk, you know it. Cataclysmic cone of fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgeron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Except for, you know, acid blast which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Arb, what'll it be? Um. <laughs> oh, holy shit! Uh, annihilation Strike! That sounds boss as fuck! One? That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your first step, <laughs> you trip on a rock. Collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Fuck, let's date them all. Roll a reflex save. I have a bunch of side bitches. Oh no. Three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, legs. Plural. Severing both feet at the ankles. This game is awesome. My feet? 
Durgeron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit! I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgeron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Oh, shit, my this controller my vibrated th with the stomps. Sort of, what should I do? Encourage, ooh, jump, dance. I'll encourage. I say something really encouraging to Elamon. Like what? Yeah. Like what? Shit. Uh, why is being nice so hard? You still have really nice uh, hands. Um, sometimes you have to get knocked down lower than you've ever been to uh, stand up taller than you ever were. And if you still have hands, you, you can still jerk off. Feet. Elamon feels inspired. He summons the strength necessary to crawl away from Durgeron. Okay. Durgeron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgeron laughs as he impales you on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. And we're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgeron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? Swing for his head. I take one last swing at Durg... Dur Durface's head. You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. Oh no. I got this. Mm. Eleven. Fuck. You swing catching Durgeron on the side of his head, severing one horn. But you don't do enough damage to kill him. What an asshole! He laughs, then rips you off his sword with a vicious jerk. Ooh. You die painfully. That's kinda hot. So mean. I'm sorry, Chloe. I have to escape. Hey man. If you can, do it. I cast. Warden's hideaway. You sure? It's all I've got. You summon a spectral door, which shields you from Durgeron. Light flares out, blinding him. The door swings shut, then disappears. You are gone from sight and what cannot the? be harmed. Sorry. I guess I'll have to come back when I'm stronger. That was fun. Check out the room. <laughs> Maggie's got serious drawing skills. I mean that I suddenly hit the thing that changes the scene. Wow, that's nice. Sorry I died and left you out there to fend for yourself. It's cool. I'll get him. Eventually. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah. I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks for the game, nerds. <laughs> My light exposed. <laughs> DVD, check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. <laughs> oh, shit. Let me see your no, ass, girl. Chloe. Class is back the other way. Alright, sorry. It's creeping on that girl. With the short shorts. Alright, let's go. Hold L2 to view your objective. Or LT, I mean. <laughs> so that's what the hand- I saw the hand earlier. That's funny that it's actually, like, the objective. If I hope they do that class, for all of them. That's just one more excuse for mom to sick David on me. What the Nathan hell? Prescott? What have you got here? Twitch? Don't call me that! True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back. I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! 
You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. <gasps> How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. Don't fucking you know touch me, little thing? slut. I'm gonna do you a favor. <laughs> what is this, bitch? You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. <laughs> You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop. <laughs> Chloe, do something. Don't just stand there watching. Like you? What the hell? Oh man, <laughs> the back talk battle. I want to like fist fight. No, fuck Nathan. Fuck Nathan. He's a piece of shit in the future. Hey, okay. if you don't take the time to stand back and watch, you miss some of life's finer moments. Like. Booyah! That. <laughs> that took me months to put together. Quit the team, Twitch. Or next time it'll be worse. Although, on one hand, I did want to see the back talk hell. battle. But I, fuck Nathan. I'm not helping him. Dude, stop touching everyone. Who is this girl? She's fucking touching everyone. Don't you, you dare touch ashamed. me again. I should be ashamed. Look at you. I already got one black guy. Why don't you get one? What the fuck does mom want? I don't like how we left things. We'll talk more tonight. Perfect. Is that a sarcastic perfect? No. I feel bad. I was mean to mom, but I was just trying to be like Chloe. But now I feel too guilty. I'm not mean to my mom. Oh shit. Rachel. Oh, good. You're here. <laughs> Killer nasty ass pig face. <laughs> That should have been the battle. Me and that girl. I do beseech you. Chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father. I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard. And many a time have listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues hath I listened to. Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal <gasps> as She winked night. at me. Meow. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. Oh, oh, oh. The question is... Hello. Are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? Ooh. What do you think? I have, because I'm going to die very young. Oh, wait. We're talking about this shit. Miranda's an idiot because falling in love is stupid. <laughs> what is she? 12? No, Chloe! Oh, Jesus, Chloe, you didn't need to go Actually, do that. Actually, she's about 15. So your point, whoever you are, about being an idiot or being naive is well taken. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. <laughs> Edgy Chloe. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh, what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Ooh, let's take a peek while she's changing. Uh, Not that I'm a creeper. Yeah, sure. Chloe would take a peek though. Okay, uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't like fall down. <laughs> Should be doable, right? It's weird to have control of a character we already know because we can't make our own choices. They need to be the choices that match the character inside. I kind of feel that way. I feel like I'm making a lot of my choices based on Chloe. Attitude in the first game. I'm not Max anymore. Rachel looks so happy here. Ah, how wholesome. Thank you, by the way. There's Rachel's belt. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. Hey now, sharing is caring. Pencils for stage manager only. I have feelings about this. Most <laughs> why do theater kids take themselves so seriously? We had already read that. Rachel Amber, All right. basic shit. Just pause if you want to read it. Time to get the panty shot. Yeah, we need Max's cameras right now. And then post it. Times are hard for elite private high schools. On social media. If I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for the uh, the Tempest. Sweet collar, Pepe. Should be, life is drama. Must be a hundred costumes in here. <laughs> Am I the only student who's not in this? Sh uh, Rachel? Is this your belt? Oh, I knew she'd be taking yes. trying to get a peek. <laughs> Thank you. Chloe fucking hung her neck around the corner like, yo, is this yours? Bring it to her. Hello. Sorry, did I accidentally stumble into here? To take a look at you? Let's say nothing. Just creep. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I didn't think you'd come back here. Thanks. So? Did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Uh, <laughs> I guess I owe you. I'll hold you to that. Want to make out before class? I'll let you finish <laughs> changing now. Why did you leave, Chloe? I think she wanted you to watch. Yandere, get your camera Chloe out. Price. Get those panty Rachel, shots. Amber. Last night was amazing. Getting attacked was amazing? Oh, I want to say it just to see what will happen, but I can't. I, I, I'd never seen Firewalk live. <laughs> Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Ooh. Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Chloe didn't have her confidence yet. She's very nervous. Fuck yes. I was born to ditch. Oh I no. I say that. No, no about gonna that. be so I, disappointed. That is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Yes, touch me. Yes, please. People won't shut up about it. Damn, she took a peek at the ass. Too bad it's covered up by the shirt. Hold still. Oh yeah, caress. Caress my this face. It's nice when someone makeup. like caresses your face. I mean, that's, that's putting on makeup, but. Close your eyes.
I hope she fingers our eye too. And That's then our better. ear, then our nose, then it's fist in time, shit. baby. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> what do you guys think so far? That's okay so far. You sure you don't want to just grab the bus or... Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. It's getting better now, though, like we're with well, Rachel and stuff. What the hell am I getting into here? Yeah, the lack of Kate is very disappointing. She's a wild bitch like us. Where does this thing Jumping go? Jumping onto trains? North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. <gasps> Let's stalk Max. I have a new best friend, Max. I'm also fucking her. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. What the fuck does Elliot want? Hey, why weren't you and Kem? Everything okay? Yup. I heard shit went down with Drew and Nathan. Did you see? Yo, let's talk later. I got the juicy details. Okay. Can I leap off? Ah, oh, that sucks. Come on. They can't have an invisible wall there. They need like a death animation. And then you just start over. Don't deny us that. I'm gonna move this box. Because why not? There we go. Things heavier than it looks. Guess I should sit down. What's all this shit say? Guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. I wonder what the symbols mean. All my idols are dead. The pain will end. Burn down this fucking town. There is only the here and now. Whoa. <laughs> Nathan's dad is a Terminator? That totally checks Woo! out. Hey, what's this? I feel pretty confident there's going to be a dead body in here. Okay. Well, let's look at her. Just another typical day, skipping school with Rachel Amber. All right, Chloe, you're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? Nice weather, uh? Say nothing? Fuck, I guess I'll go with the weather. It's nice Rachel we're having. <laughs> what? I mean, weather. <laughs> it's nice weather. It sure is. That's some shit I do when I'm nervous. So, Bad, so horrible. It's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name is Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. I didn't mention it earlier, but you seem to have some kind of Jedi mind powers over Mr. Keaton and the theater crew. You mean when we were talking about true love in the play? I guess you could say I'm good with people, yeah. Just don't pull that stuff with me. You will get on this train. Oh, shit. I bet you're wondering what we're doing. Wait, this game's called Before the Storm? I've just realized I've been calling this game Beyond the Storm. That's not even what the fuck it's called. Why didn't anyone tell me?